Hey, welcome back to the channel. Got a little something on the bench for you here. So this is my Vifly Whoopster V3. Amazing little charger. Uh, six ports for your 1S charging needs. If you're charging 1S LiPos, I recommend this charger. I do have some, I do have a relationship with Vifly. I'll kind of go through a little bit of that in this video uh, in the beginning and then we'll get to updating the firmware. So that's what this video is going to be about is updating the firmware. I do recommend you doing it because there's a couple changes that they made with the fan speed and charge rate. So you definitely want to take advantage of those updates um, unless you're already updated when you purchase it. Um, but I would like to go through that and not so much the function. I'm not really going to go through a video of how to use the charger. I think there's other videos out there unless in comments you uh, enough of you ask me to, to put a video together like that, then I, I may do that. But this is just for updating the firmware in the description you can find the link to the website uh, to the access the configurator to update this um, i also have my very first affiliated link i'll put in the description as well in case you're looking at uh, maybe purchasing one of these from vifly uh, so we'll go ahead and get started with this video on how to update this uh, firmware so stay tuned <music> So we're going to update this firmware, but first I just kind of want to go through why, why this one. So this is a prototype that they sent me. Uh, Vifly actually got a hold of me in December of 2022 and asked me if I would be part of their decision-making process uh, to design a new uh, charger. I had been testing the V2. Um, obviously, I purchased and, and won another one, so I've been running three of the V2s off of a homemade harness here. Um, off of this power supply. I do have a video on this power supply with my Vifly charger. So in case you're curious on how I do that, there's already a video on my channel for that. And I just want to say I've got well over 600 packs through the prototype that they sent me. Very accurate. I measured it with a multimeter. Everything was really, really precise. I didn't have any issues. Um, did plenty of charging and discharging and storage charging, all that kind of thing, uh, came through really well. They sent me a production version, so I've got several hundred packs through this now. Uh, testing's done, if you will. Uh, so there's actually four of these uh, that I have access to. Uh, two belong to a friend of mine, and two belong to me, and so far so good. So um, we are going to need a quality USB, so you want to make sure that you have a data not only are we going to power this via USB with the computer, but we also need it to have data capabilities. So make sure you're using a quality USB-C um, cable to your computer. Uh, we're going to go ahead and jump over to the computer. We'll go through the website. We'll get the configurator. I'll show you that real quick. And then we'll jump over here, and there's something you need to do here to get it to work. So let's jump over to the computer. All right, so we're over here at the computer, and we're at the download center on the Vifly website. So there's a link in my description on how to get to here. And then this is the link that you're going to use. So once you click on this um, uh, Vifly Whoopster V3 firmware, uh, you're going to click on that, and it's going to try to open the configurator. If you have like a firewall or some type of Windows Defender or something, it's going to kind of look at that. So you're, you're going to have to... You know make changes or whatever so that this window can pop up uh, if it doesn't automatically pop up for you um, but once that does so once that pops up then you'll have something that looks like this and what we're going to do is is we're going to plug in our um by fly charger so let's go ahead and jump back to the bench and look at that real quick all right quick. so over here at the bench i have a good quality uh usb to usb c uh, cable so I'll go ahead and plug this one into the charger. So I'll plug it in here. And then before I plug in this end, I'm going to hold down on this button. As you can see here, this has popped up. Um, so STC USB writer. Uh, so that's what you want to have pop up. And then all we have to do is just click on download here. And it will go ahead and flash. The new firmware so this should be a one uh 1.13 earlier i was on 1.03 and that's it uh, let's go ahead and jump back over to the bench 
All right, so we're back over here at the bench, and I just want to show you this real quick. It's still plugged in. I haven't I haven't done anything to this after uh, the computer update, but I just want to zoom in on the screen for you so you can see this. So it's saying input low. Uh, that makes sense because this charger cannot charge LiPos off of a 5-volt input. Uh, so we're feeding the charger with 5 volts from the computer. See, after we up updated the firmware, from this originally had 1.03, and now we've updated it. Uh, the website says 1.13 uh, but we can check it to make sure that it went through but this is just simply telling you you can't charge lipos off of a 5 volt input uh, so it's basically reset itself um, after the uh, after the uh, update was done it's kind of recycled itself so we can just kind of unplug that and then plug it back in let me see if i can zoom that in right for you so now we can see that now it's version 1.13. So the update was successful and everything should be ready to go. So we can power this up uh, with our proper power supply. So let me go ahead and focus this camera for you. So now in this case, I'll just unplug it and I will power up the charger with the 15 amp power supply. Let me see if I can actually let me zoom in on this screen real quick. All right, so now we can see the screen here. So we're all good now. Uh, really cool that this one actually remembers your settings now. So that was the other thing. Like it was really annoying to have to set that up every time that the power went on and off. Uh, let me go ahead and zoom out. All right, so that's the end of that. Uh, this one here. Let me see. So I'm already at version 1.13. Um, so we should be good to go with that. Uh, this one has DC input. So, okay. Uh, so I have both of them updated. So everything should be rock and roll. So hopefully that helped you out, uh, updating your firmware on your ViFly charger. So, you know, give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you hated it. <laughs> and you give it a thumbs down, it all works. Enjoy the breeze.